Twitter is home to some of the worst cringe you could possibly imagine. From some of the most brain dead trends to some of the most mind numbing takes, Twitter and its community has proven to be one of the worst places on the internet. And sadly, things are no different in the Dokkan community. Now, under this umbrella of Twitter cringe, there are people who like to fake their deaths for views, clicks, or whatever the hell you'd call it. And in the Dokkan community, two individuals come to mind almost instantly. But today I'm only going to be talking about one, Maverick. So you guys are probably asking yourself who Maverick is, and it seems from his Twitter account that he was a YouTuber or trying to be, and he made a Twitter account, you know, with the intentions of growing that channel. Posting for years and becoming a little well known within the community, and it seemed like everything was going fine for him. Until September 20th, 2022, when he made this post. It breaks my heart to say this, but unfortunately, on 1709-2022, my older brother lost his battle to cancer. He suffered a lot and I hope he's finally at rest. I wish everyone prays for him and I know he's loved because he always spoke about how fun it was being here. I went through the scheduled tweets and it seems like he scheduled his YouTube videos till the end of this month. He went through so much, but he still had time to record videos. I've decided that out of respect for him, this account will not be handed over. There is one final video that he wanted me to post and that will be the final message from my brother to everyone. It brings me to my knees when I think about the love he received today. Thank you. Now I'm assuming a post like this would only ever be made to garner attention on a platform or, you know, siphon attention to another platform like his YouTube channel, for example. So anyway, on October 1st, 2022, Maverick's last message was posted on Twitter and also his YouTube channel. Unfortunately, the loser deleted the YouTube channel. So all of those videos are gone now, but I do have a clip. This is a guy called um, Abu Luck on uh, Twitter, you know, he's an absolute chad, man, he's an absolute chad, I, I'll miss you, bro, I'll miss you, I will. Um, I mean, I won't be alive to miss you, but I'll, I'll keep you in my thoughts, of course. At the time, this video got a lot of sympathy from the community. A lot of people were giving their condolences to Maverick and, you know, just generally spreading a lot of love and appreciation for the guy. Looking back at it, it's probably some of the funniest stuff ever. But this video got a lot of attention from people like the Truth DT, Iron Kane, Toon Rami, Mass Ningen, and more. This guy's death was a pretty big deal at the time. Beautiful words from Maverick to us all. It's got me a bit emotional hearing some of it too. Maverick is the biggest reminder to this community to treat everyone with kindness. He truly is amazing. Barrel Maverick. Yeah, man, a lot of people fell for the bait. They, re they really did. Just from the quotes, you guys can see that a lot of people fell for this, and it is a little heartbreaking. Taking a year to let everyone grieve over his death, Maverick actually came back under the guise of his little brother. In the form of a Twitter post, Post going over the fact that throughout the year he's been able to cope with the loss of his brother Maverick and how his life has been going basically. It's been a year since my brother passed away. Never thought I'd be able to get over it. But while it has been a challenge, I have somewhat been able to think of him without feeling sad. I wish to reach out to anyone who's going through the same thing and just let you know that it does get better and while it may be very difficult, just think of them being in a better place and you will immediately feel better. You can do this. I'm sure he would have loved to be here, but such is life. I love the fact that he still isn't forgotten. Stay safe and stay healthy. So skipping two years later, Ignit actually did a little bit of the research here and found out that this one account named Reggies or Reggies or Reggies or whatever it's called had a very similar potential build to one of Maverick's favorite characters in the game. In fact, it was the exact same build. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, the account is deleted, so the post that Ignit is quoting here doesn't exist. But in Ignit's post, he provides plenty of evidence to kind of convince people that this is Maverick. Now, this was a working theory he had been cooking up for a while. Ignit thought it was about time that he said something about it. So he says, yes, I baited these replies because me and a couple others I won't name had suspicions from the way he types constantly. Look at the way he uses quotes the exact same way. The new account was also made coincidentally the same month, the last tweet on the Maverick account was made. And then he provides more context to the potential system build stuff. The True DT comments underneath, he says, yeah, I noticed the similarities on how they talk to me. I'm curious what Reggies will say, but this faking their death thing in the community needs to stop. Underneath this thread, you can go ahead and see that Maverick actually did respond. Unfortunately, like I said, the account was deleted, so can't really see the messages, but he did reply here. In fact, this is the main thing he had talked about for a while before he eventually deleted his Twitter account. Now, yes, the situation is very cringe and kind of just scummy, 
but I want to give a little context as to why. Unfortunately, we are no stranger to losing beloved members of the community, and Gacha Talks was a loved member of the community who was making a massive name for himself within it. Unfortunately, in 2021, Gacha Talks contracted COVID, eventually leading to his death due to complications with the COVID-19 virus and his asthma. Overall, it was a really sad period in the Dokkan community, and members to this day still talk about him so highly. He was a great creator and a really friendly guy from what I've been able to see. So when people go out of their way to fake their deaths online just for some amount of attention, it's really scummy because we have seen just how hard it is to lose somebody in this community in real time. I personally think the people who do this are complete losers and hopefully this video can somehow deter it. I doubt it will, but let's hope so.